Hello guys, I hope that you are doing well. Welcome to another Valorant Unscripted video. Mental health issues. It's such a problem for a lot of people, but we are still not recognizing it. Why are we waiting for YouTube shorts? Why are we waiting for YouTube videos, for live streams, for people to die, for people to actually kill themselves? to talk about this, to take this seriously. Why? This is my question. Why aren't we taking mental health seriously? And especially, especially males. Why? Can somebody answer this, please? This is very, very evil, very stupid. And I had a friend, well, many friends on my stream that asked me to talk about this topic i was perplexed between searching researching around the topic and talking about it and talking freely so i decided to incorporate this into my valorant unscripted playlist where i talk freely with my humble pure knowledge that's it and some life experiences well this is one of my biggest 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 life experiences which is mental health issues i'm not gonna dive into details around my personal life but i'm gonna give you a certain insight i had a friend she was a very very dear friend to me she struggled with her mental health when it where it wasn't really problem that is individual you know it wasn't like she didn't know what's going on with her brain with her mind no there was for me there was always a reason there is a certain reason either you are in a zone where you are not comfortable and you are struggling as fuck and you cannot do anything about it just like being in a family where there are a lot a lot of issues that definitely will impact you all right but at the end uh she became an addict and unfortunately she died i do not know the details i do not know all around that but the minute i received the call about her death i was like oh my god nobody noticed nobody saw what was going on and i know i don't have the right to talk right now about her but i always told her please listen to me you have to prioritize yourself above every other thing everything else above anything you prioritize your health yourself at the end of the day you're gonna be buried by yourself don't tell me no other bullshit that's it and yeah she understood but sometimes it's hard in life to do things that we want to do because we are really captive by a lot of things that are hurting us you know if i'm gonna talk about mental health issues i'm going to be definitely talking about this in multiple videos because there are a lot of multiple of mental health issues like uh depression depression is the worst that's the worst of them all because a lot of people don't know what's depression people think that depression is things is feelings inside of you that you cannot really understand but you actually cannot do anything about them they make you sad it's just these feelings that come out of nowhere well it's not exactly that it's not exactly that's not depression i always tell my friends who tell me they think they have depression i tell them what's the problem they tell me this and this and this i'm like all right so you don't have depression it's like what you mean i'm like you already know the problem the problem here is the problem that you just goddamn told me so go solve the problem no more depression you see go solve the problem you're fat stinking inside of the house alone all the time eating junk food no exercise nothing and you feel sad you feel shortness of breath you feel your heart burning you feel your cholesterol spiking you feel everything inside of you dying go exercise eat some healthy food take a goddamn shower go meet some people go greet some people go have fun 
and tell me afterwards if you're depressed. If you are still feeling that awkward, bad, stupid, sad feeling, well, I might be agreeing with you there. You may meet a lot of people who tell you that they don't believe in the existence of depression. There is not no such thing as depression. Okay, why are there treatments for it then? Why do, why do we treat it? Why do we consider it as a common and a serious medical illness? Huh? Why? Why is it a medical illness that negatively affects the way you feel, the way you think, the way you act? Hmm? Why? Why does it exist? Why does the UNICEF, the Psychiatry, ORG, why do all organizations think and affirm and all scientific studies affirm that it's a thing, it's a problem, it's an issue and you motherfucker from your own goddamn life experience you think it doesn't exist because because such thing worked for you it doesn't mean it's gonna work on everyone else listen to me okay so now what's my view if we go and think about depression we will find that it's feeling sad or having a bad mood losing interest in activities that you once enjoyed we'll find that it's like feeling guilty and worthless not loving yourself not liking yourself you have no purpose activities like no activities that have a goddamn purpose you know you don't like to speak too much you don't like to talk to move too much you don't like to you have problems thinking problem remembering problem making decisions problem concentra concentrating you have thoughts to die and even goddamn go and suicide kill yourself this is depression, okay? I've known some people who are famous, friends of mine who are famous in my country, and they struggled with this depression. And if they came and wrote it down on their Instagram, people will call them weak, will call them fucking delusional, will call them unappreciative of what they have. Trust me, you will get shamed if you tell people that you feel depressed while you have money while you are rich, while you have this and that and this and that, I swear you will get goddamn shame. Why? Why do people get shame for their own struggles? Why are we... I, I don't like the fact that we consider issues into moderate... We, we just stratify them. We say, um, well, this is mild, it doesn't matter. This is not a problem, you know? But that problem led a lot of people to kill themselves. A small problem. Even parents ignore this. Their children say things that they ignore. And at the end of the day, they face the consequences. Depression. Today I'm talking about depression. Depression is a mental disorder. Please listen. It's a mental disorder. It can fucking affect all aspects of your life and lead to problems and it can happen to anyone but especially people who experience trauma who experienced losses who experienced a lot of stress who lived through abuse and women are more likely to be depressed than men this is statistics but the problem is why the statistics are like this i think i think that statistics say that women are more likely to have depression than men because men aren't really too front about it they're not open about talking about their feelings about depression which should be goddamn common now listen to me if you're a goddamn man if you don't cry if you don't talk about what you feel you are not a goddamn human being and you are gonna have problems don't listen to no goddamn buddy telling you shove it up your ass and go train and go exercise hey 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 motherfucker some things aren't really solved by exercising you have to you have to fucking solve them or you have to understand them you have to see if this is you putting yourself in a certain area where you do not exercise where you have low energy where you have an appetite for stupid junk food where you are not thinking not moving not using your brain not doing anything meaningful in your life not even doing any hobbies hey exercising is not gonna solve this shit okay if you're doing a lot of bullshit solve bullshit by bullshit like step by step when i say bullshit by bullshit you eat junk food stop eating that food stop 
See, Brady, it's so easy when you say stop. Stop eating something. Like, it's just a magic trick. The word stop is gonna stop me by itself. I know it's not that, but what I'm saying is try. The minute you start trying, oof. You will love it. So you don't do any activities. Exercise. And exercising. Now I'm going to go back to, 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 to why a lot of people are talking about exercise and how it helps. It's because the fact that you are in a good physical, physical state, your mind will be in a good state. But it, it goes through, through two ways, man. Two ways. If your mental health is shit, physical health is going to be shit. If your physical health is good, your mental health will be good. I'm not saying surely it will be good. All I said is it could or would be good. Because sometimes exercising is not really a meditation in my problems. I've tried this. I've struggled with depression. I've tried different sports. And yes, for that moment when I'm exercising, I forget about it. But the moment I get back to that environment, that shitty ass environment, depression comes back. Now, how can I fight it? Go back to exercising? My body is goddamn sore, bro. Go back to exercise? Go check. Go take an ice bucket challenge or some shit? It's not gonna work for everyone, man. Might have worked for you, but it's not gonna work on everyone. Please, man. Listen to me. Please. Think about what's happening in your life. If it's a solvable problem, go solve it. Depression will go away, potentially. If it's a goddamn unsolvable problem, you most likely got depression. So, now what do we do? Either we work on ourselves to freaking live with that unsolvable problem until one day it becomes solvable, or you sit down and stay the way you are and unfortunately you will get yourself hurt so there is actually no choice you start working out getting in shape eating healthy food uh, listening to good people listening to music surrounding yourself with good friends even if you're religious, just go pray go find a purpose in your life listen the cure to depression is looking and searching for a purpose in your life the minute you find that purpose take it chase it and never let go when you reach it oh my god whether it's getting in shape healthy getting that degree getting that job of yours getting whatever you dream of that purpose that you set for yourself if you get it trust me those feelings inside of you are going to change they are going to change please people please be aware of your mental health and society i'm begging you look around look around it's not really bright it's not really that 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 beautiful it's not really that healthy amongst men especially they are not that healthy so look around your mental health matters think about it this is nabrini he said